All right, you two. We're back in the shop here with Billy Williams. Billy, thanks for having us, man. Hey, my pleasure. All right, so we're going to pick up. We already did uh, the five-minute Facebook version, so let's talk about some racing. All right. Give me some good racing stories. I know you got some good ones. We went here. I don't know. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's one of your just pops in your mind? Some good, good door banging, just um, good well, fun racing. What was up, Brush Creek Northern <laughs> All Star Show? Okay. You know, and all them guys come in there. Was this a Harley race or just a Northern no, All Star? Just a Northern All Star okay. Show. I think I paid three grand to win. Okay. I, I won the race. Uh -huh. I was leading the race and everything like that. I don't know who all was there. Pardon come up to me after the race was over and he goes, Man, he said, You wouldn't believe them guys. They wouldn't know when you was gonna let them guys beat you. <laughs> I said, What'd you tell him? He said, He ain't gonna let them beat, let them beat you. So but yeah, I mean that that was good that, that was fun. That was good yeah. time. Now was this the, the old D shaped track or was this the new that was the big one? No, reconfigured that was, yeah, stuff. That was the big yeah. track. Yeah. yeah. Man, that, that place was that, that was fun. I mean for it was fun, but my God hard on the it was hard on yeah. the car. Yes. There's times you forget to breathe. Yeah. I mean yeah. I'd be I'll tell you what, I was running <laughs> on that track one time, and I was about we was in a heat race, and it was wide open, never lifted, and it, everybody says, oh, it's not that fast. It was fast. <laughs> yeah, it was fast. I mean, so I'm thinking about, I'm thinking, man, how many more laps we got to go? Yeah. I'm thinking about pulling off, and I see old Vern up there. I said, well, that old man can keep going. I'm going, I got to keep going. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, it was a lot of fun, man. It was fast. So he was constantly using one big circle. Yes. There was never no straight stretch. Correct. I so we saw about the old uh, super dirt i had we talked about in the facebook version i went out there with this thing and uh on a, on a good night at florence this was back when uh spencer watson had the the mm -hmm. warrior clip car man those things were fast and if i finished on the same lap with spencer man i was doing good i mean they were hooked up and knew what they were doing so florence had rained out one night we go out to brush creek and uh we were parked next to each other actually i think we went to spencer's house and we left together and drove out there so we come in from the heat race, and, man, it was just, just wide open. Just throw the center block down there, just sit there, just crank that thing off. Yep. I, I never knew what turn I was in. I mean, I was lost. You, you did. You, you'd lose focus on where you was actually at. Yeah, so I think, like, turn 29, I might have seen a checkered, maybe. I mean, you're, don't, I didn't even, yeah, I don't no, even think I seen the flags. No, there was no, there was no set in the car. Well, the World Outlaw showed up here one time. I think three or four of them blew motors. <sighs> so we ain't coming back. Yeah. We were the stupid ones for going up here and racing. Yeah. We pulled in after the heat race. Spencer started behind me, and I was just waiting for him to, man, he's going to come by me. Man, I just kept hammering down and hitting, hitting my line and in and out and diving and just making my big circle and everything. We pulled in afterwards and got out of the car, and I was like, man, I said, what happened? What's wrong with the car? And he said, nothing's wrong with it. I said, well, where were you at? And he's like, I was right behind you, fool. I said, why didn't you pass me? He said, I couldn't. He said, you was right where I needed to be. He said, if I went high to go around it, he said, you did this. If I went low, he said, he said you just was right where I needed to be, too. Mm -hmm. it wasn't. I was like, man, no passing. But, man, it was just, it was fast. Hammer down. It was. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hard on equipment. Yeah, it was. Jackie had it figured out, too. Yeah. That boy got around there a few times, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I think he won How many? What, three. Three bikes. God. That's. Uh, yeah, crop, that's the first one, Cropper, I think, still has. Does he? I think so. Hmm. So you got you got a favorite track? You've done a lot of local stuff. I like Atomic. Atomic. The Atomic in Chillicothe. Yes. Okay. Did you ever make down to the old Atomic no. down in Tennessee? No. Okay. Yeah, I like Atomic. Mower's okay. I always I used to hate Florence. Used to. Used to hate it. Used now to. I like it. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is now. You know, I just I don't know. Yeah. I like it now. It's a. Uh, I always thought it's technical. It's real technical. It's it's. The turns aren't the same. No, <laughs> no. And, and uh, yeah, it's different. Did you notice how one end of the track is higher than the other? <laughs> turns one and two. If you're one and two are different. Yeah, one and two yeah. is different than three and four. There's no doubt there. Yeah. I, I I mean we were there yesterday, and I noticed that yesterday too. And we'd probably be there Saturday, but we're on Tennessee. Okay. So, but um. But yeah, I mean, I did. I I hated that place <laughs> in a late model. I just we couldn't get it to go. Yeah, I mean, we just couldn't. I don't know. Dan, Danny Hurt, we used to talk about him. I grew up with and went to school. And when I started racing, and you know, he's like, man, he that's when he was had his late model at Brown County. He was yeah. racing, and he's like, man, you need to come out here and just build you a late model, and run out here. And I'm like, man, I know. I really like Florence. You know, I kind of grew it up over here. And he says, man, what you got in the Super Dirt? He said, you could have a late model out here. And I'm like. Yeah, but I really like it over here. Yeah, the thing, the thing about Florence, you can go there 
I mean, we t- went there yesterday and tested, mm-hmm. and you can't even tell the car's even dirty. Right. I mean, there's a little bit of dirt on the other yeah. side, but, I mean, the track's always smooth. Yeah. You know. It has it has its nights. Some, it's, some nights it's not. Yeah. You know, it's not, but, I mean, right. all in all, I mean, you can race there and come out unscathed and be good. Yes. Unload, check bolts, do your regular maintenance, and roll on. Roll on. Yeah. You can, if there, if there was a Sunday race, you could be there for Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think that's. I went there once last year with Shelton's car, and okay. we were doing pretty good. And um, somebody broke and come down, and you know, I, I got, yeah, 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 I didn't know where to go, so that ended that. But crap happens. Yeah, yeah. So outside of racing, let's let's talk a little bit about Billy Williams outside of racing. You talked about you got a game room, you got some horses. Yeah. Tell us tell us about some of the hobbies, some of the stuff you do outside of the car. Um, like you, you had a twelve year span, you had to pick up some hobbies. <laughs> Yeah, we did a lot of camping. <laughs> a lot of camping. Um, yeah. Expensive hobby we, there. Yeah, we used to, we used to race ride, uh, ride racers. We used to okay. go do that all the time. Um, uh-huh. Me and the wife now, we bought a motor home last year. Um, we had a permanent campsite at Mineral Springs. I had it for 12 years. Now, where's that at? Peebles. Okay. <clears throat> it, it, it just it got too expensive to go. We wasn't going as much. Right. If you go every weekend, it's fine. Sure for the price they charge you but if you don't go every weekend then yeah it's, it's not, not you're not, you're not it's getting not your money worth no it's yeah. not feasible yeah. it changed owners and it just wasn't fun no more and um so we sold it and we bought the bought the motor home and now we can just get in and go wherever we want to go we don't have to worry about that up there right so we bought we bought a new camper last year just like uh actually two weeks before the north south 100 so the north south 100 was the first maiden voyage for a camper yep. and it's like you know on a on a good year we might get to go camping four times but yeah, we was there with the, the motorhome oh was you yeah we was parked right there by the gate i told josh yesterday i said hey i got a request <laughs> i want that same parking spot he said, hey nobody's there i said i'll get there early yeah. trust me you, you, you don't happen to know who's in charge of the camping over there do you there is nobody is there yeah. Is it, oh, really? It's me. Oh, well, my God. <laughs> yeah. I've been in charge of the camping and parking for like the last, I don't know, five or six years, it seems like. Yeah, but. yeah. So, you know where I was at last year? Yes. I want that same spot. <laughs> same spot. Right. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to talk about that. <laughs> that worked out real well. We'll talk about that off the air. <laughs> we just ro- we rolled in there and I said, Josh, I got this motorhome, man. Where can I, where, is there anywhere? Ha- well, down there is a nice spot. I don't know why anybody's there. I was like, it worked out great. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you say you got some horses. How many horses you got? We have one. One, okay. T- Tennessee Walker Flat Shod. Uh, and where do, you, where do you keep her at? Shelbyville, Tennessee. Shelbyville, Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. That's where we're heading out there tomorrow, or sa- Saturday. Right. My wife's going to show her. And, okay. And then uh, I'm going fishing Sunday. We're and you're going me and, fishing. Me and, me and David, um, we're going fishing. So, fishing you're not going racing tomorrow night? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, so you're going to Saturday. We're getting up early Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> and we're heading to Shelbyville. I got you. Yeah, it's a six-hour drive. Six, okay. That's not that's not hateful. I mean, it's an hour past Nashville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. So. We had, uh, when I was growing up, we had uh, we had a colt and a mare down in Williamsburg. Yeah. And uh, our colt, she was born on Friday the 13th, so we named her Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, that was, uh, I always enjoyed the horses. I keep telling the wife, we, we need to get some land and get a couple more. And she's yeah. like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> My kids, I had, I got them into showing horses and stuff, and I don't know, I, I guess I sold the, sold my late mile and stuff because everything was still in good shape. Yeah. And I could still get some decent money out of it. Right. So I sold the car and everything, but I kept the trailer for a year or two. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> but man, I made this. I don't know if this is the right decision to get back in it now or not. You yeah. Know, with the way everything is, I mean, it's everything's just Think, cra- things crazy are prices. things are a little difficult right now. Yeah, I can't say that this is a great time to be back in it, but uh, I don't know. I think we said in a phone conversation the other day or something, it was like, man, if, if you can do it like this, then when it gets back to normal, it'll be easy. I've had some really good luck with sponsors. That's um, good. I've had, I, I've had more sponsors than I've ever had. Yeah. I mean, I mean, everybody – I had to cut them off. I'd have, really? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good problem to yeah, have. Er, everybody was – well, you can always tell them they can always sponsor a, a video podcast. You yeah, know? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I did. I went back. I went and um, I got some old sponsors back. And yeah, a bunch of new ones and stuff. Right. And it, yeah, it's um, it was. It was <laughs> That's o- nice. Pretty overwhelming. Yeah. It yeah. Was. Yeah. So yeah, I got Fill, filling the love. Yeah, you get, got, get, yeah, get you got, back yeah, in. Yeah, I got some good sponsors. So. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, so, all right, we'll go back into the racing now. Big difference here between a late model and a sport mod. Yeah. 
Wh- which uh, which are you feeling? You know, late models are fun, but man, they're too expensive anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's why I got out of it. The, the, I mean, this car here I bought off Brian Gray. You know, mm-hmm. I can You know, he 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 helped me out. Yeah, yesterday and stuff. You know, and he said he would. So, um, I like the car. We just got to figure it out. I got to get comfortable in it. Right. I'm still now getting, is I'm it still is there. it you think handling in the car or is it just the maybe no, how? it's me inside the car I'm okay. not comfortable inside the car okay the first night we the first night molar wasn't very good at all right um the guy decided he wanted to try to ramp over the hood but um, okay a little evil can evil action there yeah we fixed it got it back out there and we end up winning the heat the next week and running third in the feature and uh but this week I told myself we got to change some stuff inside I'm not comfortable I'm too cramped up right so we moved the seat Moved the steering wheel, moved the pedals, moved a lot. Made some adjustments. So I want, that's one reason why I wanted to go down there yesterday and do that. I wanted to see if I was comfortable. So I was. I was way more comfortable in a car. Okay. So, and me being comfortable in the car, now I'm comfortable kind of with the car, too. Yes, so. yes. I, 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 I can relate. I mean, I always felt like, hey, once you get... Once yeah. you get this comfortable where you can work. If you're not comfortable in a car, you're not. It doesn't matter what the car's going to do. You can't make it work, right? No. Yeah. I, I, I get that. So uh, we're, we've been talking about, me and my guy that helps me, we want to do some time. And uh, I've got them on order. We're going to get like the little lapel mics to clip on deal and just do like a little education walk around a car and just have somebody just like here's here's what this does and this works for the for the people who watch that don't know necessarily they don't you know because i mean we had our episode last last week first time i've really been around sprint cars i don't know much about sprint cars at all so it was just really educational to hey here's what this does and here's what that does and we don't have this and it's like you know what? Maybe some of the people watching this, this might be educational for them to see as well as what are some of the differences? Because you know, I'm sure we got some late model people, we got mm-hmm. some sprint car people, seeing the differences and letting somebody explain it. You know. Back to that, we was at the cavalcade one year with, <laughs> with my uh, with my late model. We always did the cavalcade. I don't always know. Was, did, yeah. Was, was something you always had you always had good looking stuff down it, there too. It, it, well, it's all about the looks. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, we're at the cavalcade and had the. Uh, rear mount oil pump mm-hmm. oil tank dry sump system everything guy yeah. walks up to me and he goes because i had to slide off the car it was on a, on a stand guy walks up he goes can i ask you a question i said yeah what do you want to know what's that big tank i said well that's the oil tank kind of looks at me funny he says well what's that on the back of the motor i said well, that's the oil pump right that'll never work <laughs> <laughs> okay thanks for letting me know <laughs> i appreciate that <laughs> that's what you, you know, yeah no clue yeah but the the people who because we stood there we, we stayed there with the car a lot you know mm-hmm. and, the people that would come up and just ask all kinds of questions because you know they was kind of amazed on like the suspension the sure. rear suspension of the car right well like the old tank yeah I said, well that'll never work that'll never work all right well thanks for the insight <laughs> cool <laughs> yeah that was a lot of fun doing that it was yeah. a lot of work yes but it got us to get the car ready early yeah so we uh i kind of discussed that with a few other guys it's like man you know when if you if you have a long race season if you don't jump on your car or your equipment right then and start building it, mm-hmm. there's no way you're going to be ready for the cavalcade, you know. Yep. But the cavalcade does help you get ready and make sure your yep. stuff is ready or else there's guys. I mean, I get now things are different and it's harder to get stuff. I mean, I know guys that's had motors tore down since November. Oh, no. Still waiting on pistons. Well, that's, I got another one getting done, and I ended up buying this one out of a car from last year. Right. So it worked out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I used to – Back in the back in the day, when I used to help Gary Engel, Gary used to always he always took us down, and him and Stevie had their car down, and you know, back Jesse Lay had the mm-hmm. the steel car, and they had the, the mirrors and the lights, and yep. man, those guys put on a presentation with their stuff, you know. We it's, bought one of the steel cars one time. Did you? Yeah, it was back when Weasel drove for him. Yeah, Weasel. He had two cars, <laughs> and no. uh, uh, Cradler. He goes, yeah, we're going to sell this one. Maybe if he thinks he only has one car, he won't wreck as much. <laughs> he won't rely on that backup so much. Yeah. Where was it? I think at, at Florence one time, he went in turn turn one and just smacked her hard, mm-hmm. right right in right in the wall going in. Then the very next lap, he did the complete opposite down in turn three, and uh, I can't remember who it was that asked him. It might have, might have been old uh, Kenny Kennedy or something. It says, mm-hmm. well, didn't you learn down in turn one, and then you turn around and didn't didn't you learn the first time? He said, well, I had to hit it down there to straighten out what I did down there. <laughs> it was like. That guy's a character, man. Yeah. 
he was always my dad's favorite driver. Dad. Yeah, he helped me out. He helped me out. Weasel helped me out a good bit yeah. whenever we first started. Yeah, doing motors and stuff. And then yeah. when I got out running him, when he, <laughs> he quit helping. He didn't like it. <laughs> it's funny how once you start getting faster, people quit helping yeah. you. It's like, well, I still need to help. Yeah, he was he was working at Strickers and he was doing all the engine work and yeah. all stuff like that. Does he still motors. work out there? No, yeah. he's uh, hauling cars. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, what was I did for him? I fixed a fixed a plumbing piece or something. I don't know. A couple of, couple of years ago, and this lost touch. I need to get back in touch with him because I might need to do an episode with him down maybe down at Moeller. We can get yeah. him up in the tower and do an episode. Or he's something. still got some cars, but he's not on race no more. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Now these mods are kind of fun. Um, I don't know. I just like it. It's they're cheaper. They're definitely and, cheaper. I, I'm doing a sport mod thing just because of the cost. Sure. You know. That's it. We can go whenever we want to go. We're not going to run mm -hmm. no points, nothing like that. Right. Go for fun. We're just going to go. You know, it's like wife went with me yesterday and my daughter. Right. All the other guys, they had to all work, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they did what they could do. Sure. You know. We had the, I had the conversation, me and Jesse were talking about it. He's like, you know, man, he says, you know, you think about it. He says, a couple of years ago, he said, man, you really had a lot to do with, with Josh picking up the sport mods. And I said, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I I thought it was a good, good idea. You know, I really do. I mean, you take a you take an affordable car that most guys can't afford. You know, you look at like with the pricing with modifieds and late models and stuff's just getting more and more expensive. You've got teams that are folding up. It's like man, they just can't afford staying it. Yeah. Now, hey, here's an affordable class. Well, maybe these guys might stick around a little bit long, well, longer. I don't know how affordable or it actually is. Come back to racing a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know how affordable it actually. I mean, <laughs> it depends on how how I guess it's. It just kind of depends on how much you want to spend. Sure. You know, it, it, how well nice the stuff you want to get. Sure. Um, I look at it as this kind of, I mean, not, I mean, a lot of tracks don't have the, the bombers or street stocks anymore. Right. Well, this is kind of your next best thing. I mean, you can pick up a used mod stuff right. anywhere and everywhere. It's so all, Yeah, it's all over. Right. So not everybody wants to pick up a Cavalier or something and call that a race car. Yeah. I, I get it, yeah. but, you know, some people do. I kinda, so you got to have a beginner class somewhere. Yeah, I kind of agree with some of the rules that they did for this year with mm -hmm. it. Um, they, I think they need to do something. Like yeah. They're kind of getting out of hand. Sure. You know, like the regular mods, they started out kind of like this. Yes. And then it evolved in where it's at now. And yep. it's, all, you know, I, but. Um, I think the racers are kind of our own worst enemy a little bit. You know, we, yeah, we want we more, want more, want more. And then we want to. Yeah. I mean, everybody. Kind of cry about it. It's yeah, too expensive. Yeah. Everybody pushes the rules to the max and whatever. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the, the solid pool bar. Whenever I heard about it, you know, yeah. I called Larry and I was like, "What are you doing? What are you, what are you thinking, man?" But <laughs> yesterday, I I wasn't lacking no traction whatsoever. I was actually two tenths off a second than what the the regular mods were. Right. So and um, that was a pretty dry select track. It was. Yeah, I mean, there was I, there yeah. wasn't a lot of grip there. No, I mean they were spinning. I was you know, sixty five hundred. Yeah. But the only bad part about that, you know, I'm hitting the chip at sixty three. Yeah. Because it's two hundred off. So yeah. But it's it's all mm. good. It's not bad. Yeah, it's still racing. It is, and it's you know, like I said, you, when we want to go, we'll go. We don't want to go, we won't. <laughs> right. Take a weekend That's off. Go, yeah, we won't go, go ride the horse down we'll, Tennessee or something. Yeah, we won't go camping. We'll go. You know. So. Right. But yeah, I got a good group of good, good group of guys that's helping me and stuff like that. Right. So, you know. I I uh I kind of felt like last year seeing seeing you out there. I knew you was in uh, Shelton's car a few times, like. Hey, it won't be long. Billy, yeah. Billy, be back and go out. Yeah. One of those guys said, "I retired." And next thing you know, here they are. We're, they're back. <laughs> well, what it really helped out is we sold the camp spot at Middle Springs. <laughs> so, so, so decide, hey, let's get another race car. Yeah, wife says, "What are we gonna do with that money?" I said, "I got just the thing." <laughs> I got just the thing. I don't think it was what she was wanting, but that's what it ended up. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's uh, what's uh, what's the next step? As far as any plans uh, just just a week to week have fun with yeah, it we're just going to go and probably run molar a good bit yeah go to florence when we can molar's nice and close for you guys it, it makes is. that makes a lot of sense and if you go on friday night you still like you still think you got kind of like a, a weekend type thing sure you, know, you still got saturday and sunday to do whatever you want to do right. so that's what i liked about that yeah but. In, unless you work at two racetracks then you only got sunday as your day right. off yeah <laughs> but yeah it's um but yeah I, i'd really like to went to florence this weekend but that's not going to happen. So, eh, go, go to Tennessee for for a night or so. Well, yeah, that's what we're doing. Hmm. Uh, you guys, you take your take your RV down. No, we stay. Uh, Dave and Jesse's our 
or trainers down there. Oh, okay. Yeah. They got a place down there. So. Yeah, they got. We we become really good friends with them. We just stay okay. with them, so it, it's don't really. Cost are they are they race fans at all? Um, David used to be Amish. Oh, really? Yeah, and. He, hey, okay, I, I got questions. You used to be Amish. Used to be Amish. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, yeah. He's got some stories I can tell you. I bet. But he's, um, what is he, 30, 34, 35, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. But, yeah, he um, he's a heck of a horse trainer. But, I mean, <laughs> figure that out, right? <laughs> right. But, um, yeah, we've become really good friends. He comes up and he hunts with me. Deer okay. hunts with me and stuff like that, and I'll go down there and we'll, we'll go fishing. Yeah. Um, we went to Lake Cumberland earlier this year, went mm-hmm. uh, striper fishing, didn't catch a thing. Um, you know, we just we just go down, we stay at their place, and they come up, they stay at our place, and I, I, I'm still r- trying to wrap my head around the used to be Amish. Used to be Amish. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Like, I, I guess you just they get, can they can they can leave at a certain age, or whatever. And, okay. And, so uh, he kind of grew up Amish. Oh, yeah. And got a, he they, was Amish until I think he was 18 or 19 years really? old. Really? Yeah. Wow. Now, we're pretty far out east here, out 32, so we're not too far from Amish country out Amish here. Amish here in Sardinia. Really? Okay. So I grew up not, I, I grew up actually two miles from Moeller. Yeah. So I graduated from Western Brown and hung out there a lot, but I, and we always knew there was Amish out this way. But yeah, in Adams County, but now here in the last two to three years, there's been several Amish families come in. I mean, they've got a church now. They've got a school now here, here in Sardinia. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's Interesting. Nothing to, it's nothing to see horse and buggy go through town every day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they got to go to tractor supply and get some goodies. They <laughs> get a tractor supply to get goodies. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, it's it's changed so much out here since when I used to live here. I mean, I kind of pretty much graduated from high school and turned 21, and the way I went, you know. I mean, I still come back, but, I mean, I don't get to come back and Mount Orb and hang out. I mean, I keep up with some friends on Facebook and stuff, but, I mean, it's not like – I didn't stick around town, you know. Right. Now I live on the west side, and I've lived in Kentucky and just kind of bounced around and enjoy, enjoyed, you know, check different places out and see what we liked. And I don't know. we got a decent little place we like now. The wife's making yeah. the backyard nice and cozy. we got a nice little gazebo and everything. She's got the pool deck set up. She's been working on that. So I, I, don't think, know. I think you guys ought to work on a big sponsor for a big sport mod race. Big <laughs> sponsor for sport mod race, yeah. That, uh you know, I'm really trying to put a package to you. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, there's so many different ideas and stuff. You know, I, I did tell I told Joe Shannon I'd help out a little bit and do something with the uh, King of Compact race, right. you know. Yeah, he's done good with that. Yeah, he's doing real good with that, you know. And I want to spread our name out, you know, the Sling and Dirt as much as I can, you know. Um, I mean, I, I did tell Pickle I'm going to sponsor an award. I can't believe you didn't have your new shirt on. I know I've you know I, I'm good I like the free stuff you know I got my free hat I got a free hat somebody gave me yesterday it's in the van I brought it with me and forgot to put it on but yeah. you know I, I, the guys give me stuff and I you know I, I do I work it I work it in you know at uh, different times yep. um, man I, I work so much it's like you pack one thing up and get ready to go to work and then I'm thinking about okay what's my next step well, and, I keep telling the wife I'm semi-retired semi <laughs> mine would say I'm semi-retarded is what I am yeah she goes yeah we'll see how that works out for you <laughs> so it's working out pretty good right now yeah it looks like it is yeah but yeah uh, it uh when I when I find when I got my wife on board and said hey we're, I want to do this podcast and we should, we need to do it and she said all right let's let's do it you know and she was on board okay so uh that was like in the middle of December and we started recording in January <laughs> so it's like once I started getting equipment and start putting stuff together she said you know you realize once race season starts you're gonna have like four jobs right and I'm like ah man I, I really didn't think this through all the way hey you're young you might as well do it now <laughs> yeah young I don't feel young oh I don't either <laughs> yesterday proved it yesterday too. proved it, was it. rough <laughs> rough yeah, day huh it was rough my back certain yeah so I I, my back hurts so much from being in these things for so long it wasn't the working on the left rear. I seen some changes. You were making was, some changes. That was that looked brutal. Yeah, that wasn't um, that wasn't fun. But did it work? Some. Some. Okay. Learned a little bit. A little bit. It okay. helped a little bit. We still got tweak on a little bit. Yeah. We'll get yeah. it. We'll get it. <laughs> You'll get her. We'll figure it out. Um, the car's pretty good. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm happy. With, I'm pleased with the car. Um, okay. That's what Brian told me. He said, "What do you think of it?" I said. I like the car. I said, it'll go anywhere I want to put it. I mean, it steers great. And he said, yeah, it'll go around the bottom easy. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, – and he told me when I bought it. So I'll help you any way I can. 
You yeah. Any questions yeah. about it, just call me and ask me. Brian seems yeah. like he's just that kind of guy. He's yeah. willing to just help out and yeah. do whatever, you know. Well, I lost a brake pad. I don't know where it went yesterday. I told him, I said, man, I – I lost brake pad. You gonna go back without brake pads? I said, Well, yeah. He comes over and throws some on the car. He goes, <laughs> Put no, these on. Put car. these on and go out with some brake pads on the left rear. I said, Oh, that might help. So, <laughs> so we did that. And, you know, it's just little things. Little things like that. You yeah. know, it's just. So. I got gotcha. you. So let's real quick. Let's. Well, you don't have to be real quick about it. Let's go over your sponsors. Tell us who's helping you out this year. Shit, I need a piece of paper. <laughs> well, we we well, got we got a big cheat sheet you, right here. Yeah, you can see everybody <laughs> on this side. You got Georgetown Auto Sales, Bill, and you got Clark Construction, Craig, and yeah, uh, Barb Ketzel down there at Sales Real Estate, and her husband Mark. Yeah, <laughs> and then you got Cropper Racing Engines. You know they've been with me forever. Yeah. Um, they're super super great people. Yeah. Um, I've always heard good things about them. I, I never had. They went through a anything. bad time there when Rob was doing his little thing, and okay. uh, you know. But they're they're really good people, right? Um, I can't say enough about them. Yeah, um, they've really took care of me and helped me out a lot. Yeah, um, I got extreme clean porta potties. Okay, I got him over at the racetrack. And yeah, they're, they're cleaning the porta that's around. Man, I tell you what, they, they I mean, light in them and everything. I've never seen. I mean, those have got to be the Cadillac. Of of poor I know they're nice. Ain't they? <laughs> Those are pretty nice. Yeah, just go in and take a piss. <laughs> but um, uh, I don't even know who's on the other side. Got um, Southern Ohio poured walls, Roberts paving, um, B and M Automotive. I know I'm forgetting somebody. <laughs> it, it happens every every week. Somebody's like, eh, I'm going to forget somebody. But. MP Service Group, which is actually Eddie Stevens. Eddie was with me for a long time whenever we raced late miles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then carpet outlet, you know, they was always Dottie's right. always, you know, which is Nick Latham's mom. Okay. Yep. And, yep. Uh, you know, she was always, you know, yeah. I just go up there and she goes, yeah, I'll give you some money. Cool. You know, she's always good. You know, Dottie's, Dottie's good. She always helps out. Right. A lot. And you're still doing, things. you're still in shirts and hats and yeah. any of that stuff. Yeah. So. Doing, doing the screen printing and border. So if anybody needs like any of that stuff, yeah. they can get a hold of Bill Williams. Yeah. Patriot signs, right? Yeah. Still doing vinyl too? Some. Some. Yeah. And then I'll do the installs for Slicker and nice and then uh yeah, it's stay busy 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 yeah. whatever whatever keeps the wheels turning huh that's right yeah okay all right yeah the other reason I, I was just sitting around the house not doing nothing to sit come home and i'd either mow or sit on the recliner and i was getting fat and <laughs> lazy and i was like Man, wait I, a minute i need to get a race car <laughs> I, need... I don't know if that was a smart idea or not but i think that's... i've lost 10 pounds since i got the car it's an expensive diet ain't it <laughs> It is. <laughs> but, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot That's of fun. That's what I told my wife. She said, it'll be a lot of fun. She goes, yes, last night we got home. She goes, I thought you said this was going to be fun. <laughs> How much fun was that? <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, she, you know, she's not used to doing that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, see, I, seen her, I seen her over there handing you screwdrivers well, and, and hammers and stuff. She, she was yeah. trying to do way more than she needed to. But yeah. yeah, hey, she was in there supporting, giving, get, doing her part. Yeah, she. I think she's more ate up with it than I am right she now. She told me her job was make sure you get in the car right. Yeah. All right. Well, so as long as you got somebody helping you out with that part, then. Yeah, she made me buy a new driving suit. Oh. Well, my, actually, my yeah. other one didn't fit no more. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve years off to do that to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it fit. It was just a little snug. A little snug. Yeah. It, was, it had to be the wrong colors, too, I'm sure. No, it had purple ones, Oh, too. did it? Yeah. 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 But, yeah. So I'm, I remember your stuff being like like this. It you always know, I hate some red. Red and no, black hate, and I purple. Red. Really? I hate red. Never did like red. But you always had red stuff. Oh, I know. <laughs> Where did that come I from? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't really know. don't know. It, it was either they had a deal on a red chassis at the time or something. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I really don't like red. Huh. That, the last, I would have never known that. The last rocket I bought was one of Nick Barry's cars, and it was red. Yeah. I was like, shit, another red car. You could get, You should have had Sam blasted. <laughs> Sam blasted if it cost costs too much. <laughs> that doesn't make it go yeah. any faster, does it? No. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... I don't know. It's it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'll, ch I'll change the wrap up a little bit on this one after we we'll put another wrap on next year. No, we'll do it. <laughs> it gets beat up a little more. That's what, after the first night. The wife goes, "We're gonna put a new body on." I was like, "No, we're gonna beat it back out and go <laughs> on with it." Yeah, it's still it's got some character to it, but it looks good. Yeah, it's a race now. You're right. It's, it's ready. To it's race. not a show car anymore. No. Now it's a race car. No. Yeah. It, we did a car one time. And, I mean, it looked good. Somebody said. You're going to be afraid to take it to the track and get it dented up. I kicked the side of it. I put a dent in it. I said, no, I ain't. We're ready to go. <laughs> my my dad, he was always big into the, the hot rods and stuff like that. And That's what I should have bought instead of a race car. Really? Maybe. Yeah, I know. Maybe. You, know, you, asked, you asked me a minute ago about one of my memorable things back in racing. Yeah. 
we go to Mud Lake all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, Adam Stricker come down there. He'd always come to the trailer. He yeah, was, he was a little shit. Yeah, a little kid. He'd come down there and he well, had a stereo system in the star in our in our trailer. <laughs> yeah. He sat on the counter and played radio. <laughs> and Joey would come down and he goes, he's not bothering you, is he? He said, no. I said, no, he's fine. He'd sit there in the trailer for probably an hour just listening to him playing the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and look where he is now. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, man, yeah. Oh, man, old Mudlake. There's some few stories down there. I had a bad wreck down there. He had some, he had some tough battles with Vern down there, too, huh? Yeah, Vern who? Yeah. <laughs> That's how that originated. That's how that originated. Yeah. Vern who? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Vern. Vern's a good old guy. Yeah, I'm glad you know. I'm glad he's still out there doing it. Yeah, yeah, he's having fun too. I wish I could do it at his age. I hope I can do anything. I don't even know if I'm going to make it to his age. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah. Huh. Now I had probably my worst wreck down there at Mud Lake. Really? Yeah. Bad. Yeah, Butch Dowdy decided to turn me on the right side quarter panel. Turned me, and I rolled about six, seven times down the front stre- or back stretch and end over end off the back stretch. <laughs> there was there was one tire left on the car. One. Yeah. Did you feel it the next day? Oh, yeah. I had a concussion, and I was purple all over the place. We were actually going to Tennessee. Um, we was taking the kids. We had the camper already, you know, and everything. And I said, like, I wasn't sore yet. Yeah. So I said, I can be sore there. So I can be sore here, and I don't want to have to deal with the phone calls. Right. So we loaded up and, and, and pulled out the next day. Well, I didn't know it, but the guys, they all took the car at Swartz and had them working on it. And they had it done and back together the time I got back. time you got back. Yep. Man, that's nice. Yep, that was that's Eddie Stevens. He, you know, he okay. was a good sponsor back then, and he, yeah, he he took care of it. It didn't hurt, didn't hurt the cage, but yeah, it was, everything else it was tweaked. It was junk. <laughs> the the uh, was the radio cap still good? Maybe the fuel cell cap, or were them even? I think so. They might have been gone in the woods. Might have been. It's hard to Never did find one of the tires and wheels. Never did. Nope. I don't know where it went. <sighs> yeah, I I never turned any laps there. It was it, fast. Yeah, it was dark. Yeah, dark, and you pretty much had to wait till the sun went down so you could see going into turn one. That's why they started late. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. They didn't start until 9 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock, 9.30. Gary, Gary, when I was used to help him, we was down there, and he said, man, he said, going into turn one, if it was, especially if it was at all dusty, the sun would hit, hit through the dust. He said, you, you could barely see the air cleaner. After the air cleaner, you couldn't see anything out there. He said, I hope nothing stops. Cause we ran at Goddard one night. Mm-hmm. Tom, Thomas Ware – one and I run second. He was loading up real quick. I said, What are you doing? He said, We're going to Mudlick. <laughs> I said, You are? He said, Yeah. He said, Come on, go with us. So we followed him. Two guys got in the back of the trailer and we noticed the water pump was or the fuel pump was kind of falling off. Yeah. He, they were tightening it up. Another guy was in the back in the trailer changing the gears. We get there, we unload it, pulled out. <laughs> Jim Henderson comes down there and he goes, You start on the tail of the second heat. They're lining up. I go out. I, I won the, heat, won the heat, and I won the feature that night. Thomas run second. <laughs> yep. yeah, that can't happen too often. No. I mean, that's because they start so late. Sure, sure. Gosh. That's insane. That was a fast race track, too. Yeah. Oh, God, it Fleming County. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That, was, huh. that wasn't a fast race track. That wasn't a fast uh, race that track. That Mudlick was. Yeah. Me, me and Danny Hurt, had a, we had a – we had a wild story coming out of that place one time. I'll tell you about that one all uh, off the camera. <laughs> we always had a good time on the way home. Yeah, yeah, coming home. We had a good time. Dad, dad, my dad kind of helped with the story one time on the way home from uh, from Mudlick. I was riding in the truck, Gary Engel and stuff, and he had a couple of his crew guys, and my dad and his uncle was in their pickup truck. We were just coming down Double A Highway, coming back toward uh, – coming into Maysville. Well, mm-hmm. dad – Decide he's going to be cute, so he gets over in the emergency lane and passes truck and trailer, and you know, you can hear the rocks pinging and everything. And he's going by, and Gary's like, "What the hell is he doing?" Well, he gets in front of us and then just goes like the, the speed limit. Gary's like, "What the heck?" So Gary just lays on the gas and then truck and trailer the whole nine yards right down the emergency lane, passes him right back, and I'm like, "Oh my God!" Thank God nothing was sitting there in the middle of the night, or we'd have just we'd have wadded up a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we've had some pretty good times at the racetrack and yeah. everything. So, well, hopefully, uh, now when you're back to track, hopefully we'll have some more good times. I hope so. Yeah, L- less work, more fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the first night wasn't fun. First, th- well, welcome back to racing. <laughs> yeah, I know that was a good. That was a good welcome back. So, uh, yeah. yeah, 
But you know, the week after wasn't bad. So yeah, but, yeah. You, we still go. To, we still go to Eldora and we go up there twice a year still. And now, do, north, do south, you north. you still like to go and watch racing? You're still, still a race fan. I've talked yeah. with a few we've other guys. Going, yeah, we've been going from. to Eldora for I don't know how for forever. Right. It seems like. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've said I, I don't know that I've missed since. Since I turned 16, I don't know that I've missed a, a World 100. I, yeah. If so, it's I don't remember or don't remember what caused it. It's like the north south at Florence. I think Florence here in the last, I don't know, last few years, the track's been more racy. Yeah. Seems like. Yes. Um, used to, it just, it, it didn't seem like as much racy, but now it is. Yeah. So. Yeah. It, it has it has its moments, for it sure. Does. Yeah. Yeah. I like the, uh, the north south. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I'll, uh, I, now I, they got the night before the Thursday. Yeah, now they got the, it's it's you know this is gonna be weird this year because in the past when uh, Ralph Latham has rained out, they've done that in the week sometime the week leading up to. This year they decided not to do that. So I'm kind of like okay, I, I get it. I get both sides. It's it's nice for the fans to already be there and get that well, extra they're, race they're in. Already, but they're already having that Thursday night race though. So. Right, right. So it's. It's tough on his track staff, and tr- you know to pull all that together and have a whole another big race the week of. So, I, I get the I get the adjustment in the schedule. Yeah, yeah. So, looking looking forward to big big things this year. We have big things everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a busy guy. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. So, anything else? anybody anybody else you need to thank or mention before we wrap things up? I uh, just you know, you know, dad. Yeah. You know, Got to thank um, Dad. Yeah, he's always, you know, he's always helped me out. Right. Um, and then, well, all the guys that helped me on the car. You know, yep. You can't do it without people that don't want to. You right. Know, you can't help you, you. you got, you got to have support. You got right. to have guys helping you out. Yeah, because you can't, you sure in hell can't do it by yourself. <laughs> these, these things are a full time job. People, people don't it realize it. Job. <laughs> it's a full. These are a full time job. It is. You know, if you, everybody thinks it's not, they they just don't know. No. <laughs> well, you got to like doing it. Yes. You're de- we're definitely in, in it for the love of the sport, you know. It's, yeah, because there's just very little reward. <laughs> yeah, right. A whole lot of fun at times. At times. <laughs> at and, times. And there's, a, you know, like I said, very little reward at times. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, Sometimes yeah. you're scratching your head like, what am I doing here? Yep. <laughs> Other times you're like, on top of the world. Yep. Yep. Cool. Well, Billy, I, man, I, I know I've, I've seen you seen you race and watched you race for years. And, you know, get to sit down and come out and get some of these stories with you has been awesome i appreciate you having us out yeah. and uh hopefully the fans get to check this out and you know now they've got another guy that they can get to know and come out to the racetrack and help support where, wherever it is if it's uh molar or florence or wherever you're going to be you know yeah, it's a lot of fun hope to see some see everybody out there good deal so we're gonna wrap things up we appreciate you guys tuning in uh sling dirt media make sure you like subscribe and check out mr billy williams at the racetrack and we'll see you then